All right, time to go. Uh, time to go meet at the uh, at the place. Oh, is a cutscene happening? Oh no, it's just loading. What are we gonna switch back to 9s? Do we just need to establish that A2 is coming? All right. Well, I guess we're switching back to 9s here. We're just doing a lot of switching back and forth. Shut up. Negative. This support unit is assigned to your high unit 9s. As such, being concerned for said unit. This looks like the tutorial area for Sly 3. Whatever. Oh. Oh, great. Spooky. You better not. Okay, I should be able to hack all of them, like, pretty quick. So maybe I'll just, you know, handle things that way then. Rather than by regular combat means. Because this should be pretty fast, right? Okay. Yeah, what are they going to do? What are they going to do when I hijack their minds? Achievement unlocked to scanner's power. Okay. Yoink. No, you better not, you absolute goofy goober, you. Speaking of goofy goobers, I'd hope to uh, play the Spongebob movie game with some friendos during the winter break. But uh, it's looking like it's probably going to have to be sometime in the new year. But I still hope that, you know, near future that we may be able to do that on the channel. Here's hoping it'll still work out. We shall see. But also, like, this is stream 5. It's currently still winter break. Which one? All of them. Boop a bop. It's currently still winter break. It's the 29th of December. Was planning on heading out of town tomorrow. Over the, uh, for over the New Year's. But it sounds like my family may have a change of plans. We may just be sticking around chilling here, which... Gives me more time to work on channel stuff, so it's a-okay with me. So that's a-okay with me here. Okay, the pew. And then big pews. Big pews. Hacking complete. Be nine I. It couldn't just be a hundred. Had to be that dissatisfying number. Whoa. Yeah, let's just hack all of them. You've all been hacked. Was I? I wasn't T posing there, was I? That's. I saw things wrong, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. But yeah, this is a SpongeBob water game that applied to all of them. Well, the first SpongeBob movie then. The one where now that we're men, you know, which now that we're men, we're going to see if we can finally beat these games that none of us ever beat as kids. Hack and complete. That's the whole idea. Yoink. Should I pick up these scraps and stuff? Yoink. Thank you. And we go this way. So it's going to be a whole bunch of dark rooms in this, huh? Throw that sword! Oh, it stays out there lingering for a while. Interesting. I'm high. So it keeps on, uh, keeps on chilling out there for some time. Okay. Okay. And we do that. And then, well, whatever. It doesn't matter all that much. And we do this. So does the, uh, so does the plan there. And we have a representative for all three games. I played but never beat the uh, PC Spongebob movie game. One of my friendos played but never beat the uh, GameCube Spongebob movie game, which is the same as all the other home console ones there. Um, and another friendo played but never beat the Game Boy Advance Spongebob movie game. So, you know, if we get the whole group together, we'll have a representative for all three games. All titled the Spongebob movie game. Hacking complete. Wink. And then... You wink. Oh, hi. Oh, howdy. Howdy do. Pew. Hacking complete. And then who's doing all these pew pews over here? How about you stop doing all those pew pews over here? Or else I will hack your mind indeed. <laughs> pew. Whoa. Hacking complete. Okay. Am I missing anything? Wait, who's still pew pewing? Hey, I don't know who the heck I'm hacking right now. I guess I can't hack from that far? My goodness, there's judos everywhere. Everyone needs some hacking. Just gotta go around for their like regularly scheduled hacking that they get every once in a while. It's like making a visit to the dentist, except your mind is getting hacked. 
I'll just open your mind and be like, so how was your day? Yeah, considering the movie came out in 2004, was honestly securely expecting you to say there was a DS port? Nah, it's a Game Boy Advanced. PC, home consoles, and Game Boy Advanced are the three different versions. The home console ones are a uh, platformer that uses the same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I guess Cosmic Sheik coming up here. If we enjoy, you know, if we have a good time playing those, maybe I'll ask them, like, hey, you guys want to play Cosmic Sheik with me when it comes out? Um, um, the uh, PC one is a point-and-click adventure game in the same style as a lot of other PC point-and-click SpongeBob games of around the time, which I've played a lot of. I don't know if I played every single one, but when I looked up a list of all the uh, PC SpongeBob games of Curiosity, I was looking at those and I was like, wow, I've played most of those. Like, those are... Uh, those are familiar to me, and it got me wanting to play them on the channel as a uh, as a throwback to forever ago. Games that I kind of forgot existed until I looked into it. It's like, huh, I played all those. They're all so familiar to me, you know? Um, but yeah, and then uh, Game Boy Advance was a uh, 2D platformer, is what it was. Bad you missed the movie tie-in games that were actually good, like the Transformers movie tie-in games. I don't know if I ever played any... Uh, game. Well, movie tie-ins that were good, apart from maybe the Spongebob movie game. So, hello, hello, Stone Sloth. Go ahead and lurk with volume off. Holy chill with your roommate. Okie doke. I appreciate the lurk there. Have a good chillin'. Can I hack your, uh, oh. That probably would have made the, uh, no, it wouldn't have made the section in Pascal's Village easier, because I was doing that with A2, not with 9S. Wow, that was a whole lot of experience there. The bluey. Cool. Get thrown. Yeah, news to uh, news to me. And whenever I see like movie tie game tie into movies, usually they're super quickly produced things for just like a quick buck. I think uh, actually there is one more that was actually pretty good, and that's the Ghostbusters video game. I remember playing that for a little bit before Halloween 2019, I think, when it got a Switch release. Like it wasn't perfect by any means. But that was a fun game. That was uh, that was pretty cool. I didn't just take the plot of the movie. It was like a spiritual sequel thing, my Bob. That was fun. It was a fun time. Pew pew. I can't really tell you much about the uh, about the plot at this point. Um, like it wasn't you know that memorable. It wasn't that standout amazing or anything like that. Um, you hunt ghosts. Um, and you go get hard reads in a library for this one boss. <laughs> I specifically remember. And since we play games on the hardest difficulty, usually, on this, uh, on this channel, I remember playing that on, uh, on that, I'm fairly certain. And, uh, having a lot of difficulty with bosses like that one that were getting hard reads in the library. Um, you want my hacking next? Yeah, just from had good games, which I'm hoping reactivate is good. Is that, like, an upcoming thing for Bob? get hacked okay do I need to oh, I can't even whatever can I target you please that'd be cool so you never got into movie games unless we come to Star Wars games okay like if we're I haven't played any Star Wars games myself except for the Lego Star Wars games which I have like the complete saga on uh, on my PlayStation 2 Lego Star Wars back when was where it was at if uh if that counts there that was a fun time I was, uh, when the Skywalker Saga came up, part of me was debating about picking it up and covering it on the channel and doing, like, my old-school Star Wars games first. But, too many other video games. Too many other games going on all the time. But I did think about it. I did give it a good think, though. A few. I looked at some of the cutscenes of the uh, Skywalker Saga. It seemed pretty funny. Um, it was Lego Star Wars is the best Lego game. Is it better than Lego City Undercover, though? Like, that one is for sure on my list of, like, I gotta cover that one day. Especially considering the later releases of it are co-op. So, one day, I'm eventually gonna find, like, some friendo to co-op it with me. It won't be for a long time. We already have, like, a multiplayer game going on on the channel being Tales of Symphonia. That's already gonna take, you know, 3,000 years. But one day, then one of the, uh, one of the future multiplayer games I want to cover on the channel, which would just be co-op for two, I want to do LEGO City Undercover. That one was good. I think it was the first Lego game that had voice acting. That was a, uh, that was a good time. <laughs> I had fun with that. I played the original on the Wii U. And I picked up the, uh, Switch release later when it came out. But, uh, and, you know, it was good there too, but, you know, 
some of the quality was not so great. There would literally be a cutscene where there'd be like a square on the screen that was brighter than the whole rest of the cutscene. And it'd be like, did they not playtest this at all? Are you kidding me? And I was just really flabbergasted by, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> In the port, maybe the things have been patched since then. I'd probably just pick it up on Steam and Steam Remote Play with someone. Something like that though. What the heck is going on here? Not a 210. Operator? Oh, okay. I guess we're fighting here. I hate to be that guy, but the first Lego game with voice acting was Lego Batman 2. Did that one have voice acting? I think I owned that on my Xbox 360. I think. What if I do this? What if I do this? This is probably the way to do this, right? It's just to hack those thing bobs. It did. Okay. I guess I didn't remember. I do own it and have played it. It's on my game shelf back there. So I kind of forgot about that game. All right, pew. And then we do this. All the hacking. Whoa. But yeah. Remember Clancy Brown's Rex whenever you hear it? What? That's the name of the actor there? Oh, crap. Wow, how did I sneak through that without taking damage? They heard it in that game. I believe you. If we ever cover LEGO games on this channel, it would probably be LEGO City Undercover and the Star Wars ones. Um, maybe one day stuff like that. I don't know. I don't think we've ever played a LEGO game on this channel. Or, uh, wait, what was that one? There was this one PlayStation 2 LEGO soccer game that I played that I know was on my shelf there. I don't remember the title of it. But there was this one, like, really fun LEGO soccer game that wouldn't take that long to beat. You could probably beat it in one session, just going through, like, the story mode of that. It was super fun. It had, like, a bunch of power-ups and stuff like that. My favorite one was the rocket, where it's, like, you would shoot the ball at one angle and then activate the rocket, and it would, like, zoom into the net from the side and really mix up the goalie. Oh, man. Why am I blanking on the title of that game? I could go check my shelf and find out what it is. Um, I... Gosh dang it. Okay, the, uh, it's killing me. I need to know. Give me a hot second. What one was it here? What? Where is the thing? It is Lego Soccer Mania is what it's called. Wow. It has, like, the lamest side box art ever. It's just a white side, and it just says Soccer Mania. It doesn't even say Lego Soccer Mania. It's just called Soccer Mania. I, that was a fun game there. Maybe <laughs> I should play that one of these days. Maybe during like a 24 hour cherry stream or something. That was a good time. I remember playing that a whole bunch way back when. Of course, the PlayStation 2 games that I played the most were the uh, Sly games, but uh, you know, <laughs> Lego Soccer Mania. That was a good time. I wonder if I could emulate that with a, uh, with, what's the, uh, what's the right word? Net play? Something like that with some friendos? That'd be fun. That was a fun game. But yeah. Let's see here. Not many iconic actors came into Lego Batman 2. Just Clancy Brown for Lex Luthor, the guy who played Two-Face in the Arkham series. I don't know who Clancy Brown is, but I'm going to assume that there's someone real cool then. That's <laughs> what I'll do. The pew. Many pu- Gosh dang it. Many, many pews. No. So many of them here. Whoa. Oh, he's Mr. Krabs? Okay. Huh. Do I just keep hacking you? Or is this just like a scripted point where you take no damage? I'm wasting my time by doing this. Because that's always possible. Whoa, whatever. <laughs> okay, I don't think you're taking any damage at this point. I mean... Okay, now you're for sure taking damage. Now you for sure are. Darn you. Darn you. Okay. Maybe I'll have to have a look-see then. I know that uh, it was discussed during Tales of Symphonia recently that he was a character in Detroit Become Human as well. I've heard his voice in that. Whoa. So dang rude. So dang mean. Okay. Okay. 
Whoa, there's still that weird movement thing up at the top. I wonder if that's like a bug or something like that. But whenever I get around that top middle section, my movement gets like weird and it feels like it's getting pulled in some directions. But yeah, okie doke, take care of there, Reggie Bum. So much hacking to be done. A hacker's work is never finished. Whoa. Did I hit the wall there? I for sure hit a warp that time. Okay. More people dying around here. Now yeah, we're just gonna keep on interrupting that dialogue by continuously hacking you. This is what we're gonna do. Pew. So many of the pews. Whoa! If I could aim right, that'd be great. It's kind of hard with a right stick where you just try to aim like in that direction as best you can. Better always like a smidge off. Okay. I saw those black walls and assumed that they were enemies for a hot second. This is what I thought for Uno Momento. Hacking complete. More hacking! More of it! Scoozy, coming through here. Coming on through. Okay. Okay, how many are you gonna spawn here? This is insane. There we go. There we go. And then one more? One more to go? Wow, that's a that's a lot of bullet hell. My goodness. <laughs> okay, yeah, just get knocked down by hacking. Be told me she told me she wanted you to become a good person you don't you dare talk to me about you <laughs> wait and are we character switching now oh my goodness we're character switching now I guess that they, uh, whatever fluid is in them is, like, a red thing, I guess. August? What is this? Octopath Traveler, Champions of the Continent? Well, time to actually fight this one instead of hacking. Oh my... Okay. No. Okay. But not too hard to avoid, right? Uh, okay, I'm selected on a uh, medium recover by default. Oh, great! There's a bunch of other guys that are gonna be appearing. No! Oh, whoa! Whoa! Let's see if I can laser multiple of them here, like this. Well, a couple of them at least. Okay, and that'll help me avoid that attack. Whoa! Crap! I wanted to land it and dodge, but alas, no such luck there. Whoa! Please not. Yoink. Never a bad time for an item, right? Surely. <laughs> okay, I wanted to see if I could dash through that. But the answer was no. Okay, can I laser them both? Like that. Well, don't be attacking me then. Oh, these are. Oh, it's bucket guys! Wait, they all have buckets, like that dude at the beginning of 9S's route. Beginning of Route B, where they want to use the buckets to fill up with the oil and try to revive their fallen comrades. Their fallen brothers. Huh. Okay. No, please. Nice, can get August with that too. Ow. Maybe I'll just go back to focusing on you here for now. We can afford so many Healy items with our funds, so it's fine. 
So it's A-okay. Ow. Just push me up against the edge of the map, why don't you? Like, this is a fighting game. Whoa. Laser several of them. Okay, not a lot of space around there, because that's the whole that, uh, that's the holy land that 9S kind of fell into. Okay. Do that. Ow, they can attack me in the air. That's not great. Okay, pew. No, I hate that one. And we come back. And we level up. Thank goodness I found the body of the butt crumpler. So... Oh, another cutscene happens if I come over here. Achievement unlocked justice. Well, okay.